Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Using protractor. So based on all that we learned about angles, let's try some questions. Question number 1. Where will the hand of a clock stop if it starts at 12 and makes half a revolution clockwise? So that means the hand of the clock is at 12. So from where it is going to start. Now it makes half a revolution. So how much is half a revolution? So one revolution is 360 degree. Right. So we know that one revolution corresponds to 360 degree. So half revolution would mean half of 360 degree. That is 360 degree divided by 2. That is 180 degree. So how much is 180 degree? 180 degree is nothing but 290 degrees. Right. So this clock and it also moves in the clockwise direction. That means this is the clockwise direction. So this is how let's see how it rotates. This is how it will rotate. So let, let's look at it once again. So if we divide it into four segments, so nine, 190 degree in the clockwise direction will come here. Another 90 degree in the clockwise direction will come here. So it, 180 degree in the clockwise direction will bring the hand of the clock to 6. So therefore it, the hand of the clock would stop at 6. Let's look at the second part of the question. If the hand starts at 2 and makes half a revolution clockwise. Again clockwise but this time it is starting at 2. So let's again divide it into 4 equal halves like this. So this time it is already here. So that means it has to cover 290 degrees. So how will it cover 290 degrees in this case? So here 190 degree would take it somewhere here. So this would be 190 degree and again another 90 degree would take it somewhere here. Now so this would move in the clockwise direction again in the clockwise direction. So let's see where it reaches. So finally this hand would reach at 8. Right. So one. 90 degree another 90 degree so together it is 180 degrees so another interesting thing that you can observe is after ro getting rotated by 180 degree it will form a straight line right so if this is half of that straight line the remaining half has to be this so just by looking at that also you can see that it will reach the number 8 question number 2 which direction will you face if you start facing west and make 3 by 4 of a revolution anti-clockwise? Okay, first let us see what are the four directions that we have, north, south, east and west. So it says that initially you are facing west, right? That, that's what the question says. That means this is how you are pointing initially. Now, the this arrow head shows that your face is towards the west. Okay. Now what you do, you make three fourth of a revolution. So can you tell me how much is three fourth of a revolution? So we already know that one revolution corresponds to 360 degree. That is the complete angle is one revolution. Okay. So three fourth of revolution would be three fourth of 360 degree. Right. So now if you calculate this, you would see this is 90 degree so that is 3 into 90 degree so basically it is 3 times 90 degree so when you actually start the revolution you make 390 degrees so three right angles you need to complete and in which direction in anti-clockwise direction okay so what is anti-clockwise this is clockwise so this is anti-clockwise direction so when something moves like this, that is anti-clockwise. So let's make this arrow move in the anti-clockwise direction. That is in this direction for how many degrees? For 390 degrees. So which are the 390 degrees? So if we divide it into four quadrants, this is 190 degree, this is second 90 degree and this is third 90 degree. So when it actually starts rotating, where it, where will it end now? So it reaches towards north. So that means now you will face towards north. So from, if you start from west, make three fourth of a revolution anti-clockwise, then you would reach towards west. Uh, sorry, you would reach towards north. Okay, so let's look at the second question. 
you are facing south and you make one full revolution so by mistake i have written it here so now it's not visible properly but yeah it says you start from south and you make one full revolution okay again we have our directions so initially you are facing towards south so one full revolution so full revolution means how much full revolution corresponds to 360 degree so that means you will start from here and you will make one complete angle so the moment you make one complete angle where do you reach so you reach back to three to the same position so you started from south you started facing south you came back facing south so you will come back to your original position after one full revolution. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.